Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do some doodles for um, the upcoming series in Acts that we're going to be doing uh, for the 28 days of Acts. And I just thought I would show you some of these doodles um, that I've done kind of in a step-by-step -step way to do them. So today we're going to concentrate on the bowling pin people that I have in here. And they're really simple and easy. So... I'll show you. I have my gray, my three gray markers and my micron pins. I have the 8, 5, 3, and 005. This is for the really fine, tiny lines. And like I said, my Bible journal is all done in grays and blacks, and so that's why I'm only doing gray markers. So, what I like to do is start most of my doodles with a three or a five. I'm going to do the three. So the bowling pin people are really easy. You're basically going to make a circle for the head and then I just make the body shape and for the bowling pin people that are more um, royalty or like Jesus I do a kind of a robe look and then I just do the eyes this one is looking up and if it's a guy they have a beard and I do the beard just by scribbling and scribbling in different directions so you don't get a real consistent you know so not all the lines go the same way and you can leave it like that that's your bearded guy or you can add a little bit of hair you can add just some loops like that or you can do long hair. They're going to be a long haired guy. And then what I really like to do to just add some extra depth is I go just on the outside borders with my really th my thickest pin which is the 08. And this just adds a little bit more, just a little hint of something different. And it doesn't matter if you follow the lines exactly. It kind of just gives it a little bit more of a solid look. It's kind of fun. So that's uh, a regular bowling pin person. When I do Peter, I usually like to give him messy hair. So same thing, start with the circle, do the body, Again, see this isn't perfect. I have a line that's out of line here. His head's not quite on straight. That's fine. Just go with it. So Peter usually has bigger, messier hair. And a beard, of course. Scribble in. And I kind of do the outside. And then I fill in. You can have him put his hands up like he doesn't know what's going on. I don't know. Uh, so different hand things that you can do. That's a question there. Here's a person that is maybe pointing. So when I do that, I for the bulk of their hand, for this part of their hand, it's really easy just to do a circle. So that's his hand and he's pointing. And he's saying, oh no, what's that? Maybe that's a little girl pointing. Uh, let's see, so then in one of the things of Acts, you're going to have a lame man healed. So I do the same thing for the lame man, the circle. And because he's healed, he's excited, he's throwing his hands up. So to show the excitement, I kind of curve the body too. And he's throwing his hands up. Curve the hands. Yay, he's so excited. And his eyes and his beard. He's healed. And I draw excitement. Maybe he's got little bits of hair. And he's got some holes, some patches, he's healed. So same thing with all of these. Get your thicker marker. 
Go around the outside, follow the lines as best you can. If you get a little off, not a big deal. It's just yours, right? This little girl. Peter. Then you can take your gray. I think mainly of these, I use this one, the medium gray more. This is a really great, the light one is a really good one for really light shadows. This one shows up a little bit more definition and this one's very dark. So this would be good to fill in, fill in things that you want dark. So his holes and his thing would be good. You can fill in the beard. But it makes it really dark, so I don't just draw lines to fill it completely in. On these ones, give them just a hint of color on the robe, maybe a hint in the hair. For Peter, we could do his hair, his beard, and maybe give her some color here too. And then to help them so they don't quite look like they're floating, you kind of just add a little bit of a line under there. And that's it. That's your bowling pin, people.